What's up gurus? We're going to talk about some tissue culture plants today. We're going to talk about the truth about tissue culture plants. Let's get into it. Hey gurus, don't forget to like this video. So first off, I get a lot of questions about what I use for plants. If I use potted plants, tissue culture plants, etc. So we're going to kind of go over why I use tissue culture plants if I can. Um, these ones I bought from Petco. You can get them anywhere, boostplant.com, etc. Many pending places you can buy your tissue culture plants. Now, there's a reason I go with these. Now, they, they don't have any issues with pesticides or anything like that, as with other plants. You can kind of see on the back, they give you an easy explanation on every single package of these that you buy. Now, the best part about them is they have no pesticides, no snails, no little little bugs climbing around in there or anything like that, and it's just tissue culture, a little gel on the bottom. Real easy to use, real easy to plant, and in my experience, actually grows a lot better than potted plants do that you buy from the store for whatever reason. Um, they do still need to convert, just like most plants do, so there is that as well, but it doesn't take as long for some reason in my experience, so... Anyways, let's get into the truth about these things. All right, so the truth is these are the best plants you can buy. Simple as that. The reason being, your options are always massive anywhere you go. You can get some of the rarest stuff you can find. This one, for example, not so rare. It's just Bucephalandra green, which is kind of cool. I'll open these up for you in a little bit here and kind of show you. But it's a nice, healthy clump of Boost, and it cost me 10 bucks versus going to buy it pre-grown by somebody else, this size of a clump is gonna cost me easily in the $70 range, if not more. Now, these are kind of cool too, on this type anyway. They show you if they're easy or intermediate, etc. cetera. Um, pretty easy to explain. Now, I got a few different types here, just to kind of explain it to you. So we got some dwarf hair grass. This is very, very full. I mean, we are full to the brim. Let's open this one up a little bit here because see how it's got a, a lid on it. So we'll pop that open and you can see you got some really nice, thick, luscious hair grass. But my favorite part is you can shop carefully now. So when you look around, sometimes you won't get them this full. You'll have a little tiny clump of it. Those ones I stray away from, even if it's there and it's the only one that's there, I would rather wait till next time to get something crazy like this or like this Boost of Flandra. <clears throat> this Boost of Flandra, for example, that's a huge clump. I'll be able to sep separate that up into multiple tanks with no problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them in one tank, but we'll kind of go over that stuff later. So we got hair grass, we got some boost of flanger green. Here we have some Rotella rotundifolia. Again, just a massive quantity of it inside of this thing. And that's again, $10 for absolute massive amount of this. Now these are perfect for doing a fully planted tank, easy to set up. You just kind of throw it all in one tank and you can get that look or achievement of having a full tank really, really quickly. So, and another one we got here, this one here is gonna be just a simple crypt green, nothing too fancy, nice, easy to grow plant that I can put in anything. I'm gonna open this one up for you as well. Now, again, like I said, there are, when you go shopping for these things, I like to do it in person if possible, just because then I know what I'm getting. Um, I do the same thing with potted plants though, but this one here, again, another awesome specimen of green crypt. But anyways, there you go. Big chunk of crypt. This is gonna also cover a lot of area. It'll fill in pretty quickly too, and you'll kind of see that in the future. But anyways, there's a nice healthy chunk of crypt. Now this one is the reason I love shopping for tissue cultures. I don't know if you can see this, but it's Anubius Nana variegated. It is not a common color that comes around, if at all. Now, there's a no, also another time I seen some flamingo crypts and I missed the opportunity and I did not buy them for whatever reason. But this here is gonna be really, really cool to grow. That nice white color and then you'll get the green down in the stems, whoa. But anyways, we're gonna do a video on this one um, in a couple days here. So make sure you're watching for that. I'm gonna leave this one in the package for that reason. The hair grass we'll be planting today 
for another video that's coming up in a couple days here so but anyways back to the point the truth is you get more for your money you get pesticide free you get no snails no you know infestations of any kind from these things they grow amazing from the get-go in my experience with any types that i've used whether it be your you know you got your rhizome style you got your regular styled um rooted plants and then you also get your stem plants so you kind of get a variety of things you can also usually find mosses in this stuff as well as like floating plants too will sometimes come in these tissue cultures so but there you have it pretty simple pretty elegant it's really simple you get a lot for your money you get no problems that's the truth so that's the, there's the truth of tissue culture plants for you for the aquarium community Get out there and find some of these and grow yourself an awesome planted tank like some of mine. There you have it, guys. That's the truth about tissue culture plants. If you got any questions, shoot them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a big, nice thumbs up on this video and give us a subscribe down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and you guys have a good night. See ya.